<clears throat> Sunday, July 17th. Good morning. Having my hot water and lemon. Okay, very hot water and lemon. Maybe too hot of water. So, uh, <clears throat> today is a day for a, a new start, the next chapter. I, uh, I'm going to move in a little closer. So make sure you can hear me. Um, so I got an email from Dr. Furman over the uh, Friday afternoon after I went to Costco about my next week's supply of juice and stuff. Pears, pears, apple, watermelon, carrots. Uh, I got kale at the local store because Costco doesn't sell that. Lettuce at Costco. Organic carrots are at Costco, 79 cents a pound. 79 cents a pound for a 10 pound bag of organic carrots. So 7.99, 10 pounds of carrots. Can't get that price anywhere. At least I don't know where to get it. So uh, <clears throat> I got all my stuff. He sends me an email saying, saying Bill, uh, it is not ideal for you to go past 60 days doing this uh, juice fast. I want you to start eating healthy foods and I don't want anybody to deter you from getting optimal health. And uh, that was interesting because uh, sometimes hanging out with my friends, I, I don't know if I deter myself or they deter me or whatever, but uh, interesting. So that being said, I'm going to do the juice <clears throat> once or twice a day, and then have a, uh, a regular meal. Let me tell you something. Uh, juice fasting is pretty easy once you get a hold of it, and once you really get on the plan, because once you learn like what works with what, and what you like as a taste, it's pretty simple. The idea of going back to, you know, just going back to doing uh, healthy foods that Dr. Furman says are good for you, and that I know work for losing weight, from having followed his diet for uh, a year until I got like a little bit happy and then decided, well, you know, I'm cool, you know, I, I dropped 75, 80, and maybe it was almost 90 pounds, and then put like 20, 30 of it back. And uh, that's why I really started this juice fast, because I really needed a good jump start. So I've got my jump start, and uh, I want to be under this 300, like I keep saying, by uh, August 25th. And I know I can do it, and I'm going to do it eating the way Dr. Furman wants you to eat for the rest of your life. You can't stay on the juice fast. And, uh, you know, there's a couple of times I had the slip-ups with, you know, like I tell people, my idea of slip-ups was having grilled vegetables. So, but not that bad a slip-up, I know, you know. But I was telling people last night that I haven't worked this truck in a lot. steak since September 2008 when I had one at uh, Don Shula's Steakhouse down at Disney. My friends were egging me on to eat the 48 ounce steak so I could get my name on a plaque and I said there's only one reason I'm not going to eat the 48 ounce steak because you guys are going to tell everybody in the world how I ate a 48 ounce steak. So, uh, you know. And I was the size of a house that I, I was 420 pounds six foot four and that's pretty damn big so anyway so look what I got I got my blueberries this is my morning breakfast look at all these blueberries they're in season right now in Jersey they're cheap fantastic I eat them like M&M's and um, you can eat this entire bowl of blueberries on Dr. Furman's plan and lose weight so I'm back to that. And I got my hot water and lemon. And I'm gonna to continue to make the videos because I'm gonna document myself getting below this 300. And then I'm gonna see, I don't know, maybe I can get myself to 250. And I appreciate um, everybody who takes time out of their day. Like I make take time out of my day to make the video. 
wait for somebody's car horn to stop honking at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday for 10 minutes straight and then come back out and say, okay, there's no more car honking. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. I hope it, it, uh, it helps you. I'm telling you the book to read, the cheapest book you'll ever find, is written by a guy with 20 plus years experience. Eat to Live, Dr. Joel Furman, that's the book to read. There's a couple other ones that are, China Study is fantastic. Um, you know, but that's a real book. I mean, that, that's, I don't know, I think it might be 400 pages and that will take you a while. Furman's book, it's like a pocket, you know, it's not a pocket book, it's a small book. I don't know, I'll try and find it and put it on the video tomorrow. I think it's on my third floor of my house. So, <clears throat> What I'm going to do is pull fruits in the morning, lunch a huge salad, and dinner I think I'm going to do a juice. And I might switch the juice for the salad depending upon how my day is going and which one I want to do. But I still want to do the juices. Um, they really cut my appetite. And uh, they cut my appetite better than... Um, the Vitamix machine, which I have, and I don't know, I'll see once I go back to using that again, because I would do like frozen fruit with kale in the machine with uh, water, and like a pound, I don't know, I'd have to really, I'll show you in a video, but Costco sells a fresh fruit frozen, so I throw that in with a banana, with a whole bunch of kale, whip that up, makes a huge amount of juice, and I would have that and give some to my wife too. Um, that's really, um, really very healthy for you because you're getting all the kale. You know, you're not throwing anything out the way you do with the juicer. But that didn't really cut my appetite. This juicing really did cut my appetite. So, and uh, and I've also learned with my hot water. So my hot water is still too hot. So I got my hot water with two slices of lemon in it. That replaces my coffee. And I got this. It's a big, it was a big container of blueberries. This is probably like a pint. But uh, they're fantastic if you really, and it has really helped me with my uh, psoriasis. days and after 30 days he told me you know you know a better way of how to do this you know and he's saying eating whole foods and everything like that and you're not gonna be able to do this juice fast forever so you know, I, I think you shouldn't really go past the 30 so I went to 60 I email him and telling him like you know and you, when you have the ability like I do to email a top doctor who's written six or seven books you really kind of respect the guy's time, and it's like, okay, so now I'm going to tell him I didn't listen to him last month. What do you think about what I'm doing this month? So, you know, I mean, he was positive with me, and he just said, you know, I don't think it's ideal for you to go past 60 days on this. So, if Dr. Farman tells me it's not ideal, then, hey, he knows a hell of a lot more about this than any of us. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. So, new journey. New page, beautiful Sunday at the beach. I'm gonna enjoy it. I went to my buddy's 40th birthday party, Friday night surprise party. Of course, you know, forget all the drinking and, and all the booze would be typical of a 40th birthday party. The food disasters that were there, you would have thought, you know, once again, like I was almost being set up with something I, I've actually never seen before. Cheese steak egg rolls. A tray of them. There had to be 50 of them. And I brought my buddy to the party. So, you know, we were, you know, it was a surprise for him. So I was an hour late. So the food was already kind of like picked into and that kind of stuff. But <clears throat> and I made sure I sent my wife to the party with a vegetable tray. And you know what? Nobody eats that vegetable tray. It's at every party, right? No one eats it. I eat it. And I enjoy it. So it was 
deep fried egg roll cheese steaks, six foot subs, fried raviolis. I mean, just like absolute pure garbage. And uh, I stuck with the lettuce, tomato that was on the side dish or something, and um, and, and having the, the there was a, a beautiful somebody made a beautiful bowl of fruit. I just sat there picking at it, eating the, uh, eating all the fruit out of that. So I, I was fine with that. I mean, it was really uh, for me it was better choices than I thought it was going to be because of the fruit bowl and the vegetable plate that I had brought. But looking at the other stuff, and let me tell you something, I would have been the first guy eating all that other crap, but you know, I'm a changed person. So with that, that's what I'm telling everybody, you can do it. Oh, and the best thing was yesterday on this deck, somebody who sells medical equipment for a living says to me, you mean you could juice carrots? Juice comes out of a carrot? How does juice come out of a carrot? Do you add something to get the juice out of the carrot? I'm thinking this guy, this guy's in the medical community. This guy talks to doctors every day about what they should use in, in, uh, in an operating room. And uh, I'm not even going to say what field he's in and that kind of stuff because, you know, I don't know. To me, it was like, this is exactly what Dr. Furman says, that doctors get no training, very little training on nutrition. And, uh, and that's why. So, all right, that's the end of the video for today. Hopefully uh, this came out pretty good.